Hello YouTube and all the viewers and subscribers. Today I received one new micro FPV camera system from AKK Technology. It's called AKK A3 OSD. As you can see, it is 600 TV lines camera with output power of 0 0.1, 25 and 200 milliwatts. So let's see what's in the box. Again, nicely packed, protected as usual with AKK. This is the camera itself. Another sponge, adapter cable for different types of batteries and small manual with basic functionality frequency table this is 48 channel uh, all in one system so not standard 40 but 48 it has uh, bands a b e f r and u okay let's see let's see how much does it weigh so the whole system weighs 4.57 grams with uh, adapter cable it's 501-502 grams so let's say it's 5 grams with uh, adapter cable okay I will need that adapter cable because I have this connection on my 1S battery and see what's going on with this I don't need this anymore so I will connect this adapter cable I'm going to remove the cap and power it on great nothing blinks let's see on the screen if we have something well yeah here's the picture so what can we see here this is OSD version so here I can see it's on B2 channel this is frequency this is power output means that's on 200 uh, milliwatts of power and you can see here the battery power which is really good you wanna see your battery power that's awesome great now let's see how to change it ch the channels I assume that is as usual with AKK here is a small little button by pressing the button you change the channel shortly indeed yeah and small LED blinks each time you change the frequency now when when uh, LED uh, light is turned on it as per manual it means that it's on the first channel so on the second one beyond on the third one beyond just on the first great now how to change the band I will turn that off now changing the band is as manual says is by pressing this button for more than two seconds and now red light blinks also you change band by pressing this button only on a channel this will this red light will be on all the time and on B band E band F band R band and U band you won't see any notification on this 
so you just have to count this is A band oh now it's changed to frequency switching let's do it again press for two seconds now it's an A band B E F R U and A again I'm gonna leave it like that now there is one little option it's called power output it's general it's changed by pressing this button for more than four seconds I think there second LED turns flashing when it's on it's 0 0.1 when it's first time off it's 25 and second time it's uh, 200 I will leave it on 0 0.1 it's called pit stop mode because I can feel that this little device is heating up a lot so let me close it bring it a little bit closer to the camera I don't know if you can see it but actually there are three lights now one blue and two red they are very tiny so I'm not going to be able to record it on this mobile phone let's find that channel now it should be A1 yeah it says A1 as you can see it's now on A1 output power is 0 0.1 milliwatts and there's a something more and I will try to do it so on your OSD you can also have your name on it so how to change that or call sign you can call it call sign uh, you can have uh, eight characters maximum now I'll have to look at this screen maybe I could just close it a little bit more so maybe you can see it yeah it's not close enough okay I'll try it anyway uh, entering the menu for call sign you need to press and hold that button for six seconds I think let me see what I did now now I'm changing the channels now let's do it again press and hold for six seconds Ah, now you see it blinks something I don't know what that was uh -huh. changing changing power and where is the call sign ah, it was blinking up here oh great let's try it again now not again so press and hold for six seconds power now now I can change as you can see by short pressing this button letters so let's say I want to just for purpose of this test A B C R press and hold for two seconds to switch to another R C let's say F F L and 
let's say y to be last letter and leave it like that so I will have my call sign up here in the left upper corner of the OSD good so these are all the options it's still in, in that call sign how to get out of that I'll try to push the button again and just leave it pressed for some time there now I have exited the menu so actually if you have a uh, your goggles by pressing this button you can also see not just LED lights on the on the uh, camera but you can see the particular menu flashing like this bend power and finally your call sign <clears throat> so you can change that now what's good about these I will turn that off what is good about these little things and I like them very much I had a split system from AKK and I uh, mounted it to one of my RCR planes and actually that one was uh, 25 milliwatts this one is 200 with that 25 milliwatts I got around six to seven hundred of clear picture uh, range so range was okay it was an open space but uh, on 25 milliwatts excellent picture clear no disturbance nothing up to 700 meters this is 200 milliwatt output and it should perform better and as you all know of course I have a mini quad I can use it on this one you can see actually it is almost the same size little bit smaller than original Yichin but what I like the most with these devices is to use them on something like this this is ideal for FPV on micro airplanes because it's as I said it's five grams it's almost nothing and actually it is excellent if you want to put it on something bigger like this one like this FT Scout you can put it anywhere that weight is almost nothing you can put it on the wing you can even put two cameras so, so two people can watch from different angles at the same time I can put it even here on the head of the Snoopy and add a small battery like I don't know uh, maybe 150 milliamps maybe like this one and all up weight is then let me check yeah that would be nice to check everything let's remove this cable no I wouldn't need this this cable now it would all weigh 8.5 grams with this small battery you have a full FPV system on 8.5 grams this is awesome <laughs> this is awesome and you can put this little thing anywhere on the airplane even in the cockpit that's what I like it now I'm going to test uh, probably on this micro quad I will see uh, I will test the video foot some video footage and how it reacts on sudden changes of light in the room And I'll get back. And here is a flight footage with my e chin. Uh, I left the hall in the complete dark, and the living room is 
with normal light turned on TV is on so you can see the difference from switching to from uh, light places to dark places uh, you can see a lot of uh, dots and everything but this is complete almost completely dark area and quite enough for you to see where are you going I'm not that pilot as many of drone pilots I'm not that good with piloting with drones but here you can see the difference uh, in the in the flight footage when moving from bright to dark places and that's it uh, it's, this is just short flight uh, around my apartment I must say that this apartment is completely uh, made of of uh, concrete with uh, with the armature steel armature so each room is some sort of Faraday's cage it's very difficult for any signal to pass through but you can see there's no loss of signal in this flight and I think this camera will work awesome anywhere thanks for watching